Welcome back guys to another video. So I decided to make a study with me after it being ages since I've made one and I've got quite a lot of work to do this week. So I decided I might as well get it all done in the weekend. So what I've done is, uh, as you can see, I've got all my tasks to laid out in Microsoft to do. Uh, there's not that many because I tried to get as much of them done during the school week. Okay, so on top of my tasks that I have in Microsoft To Do, I usually use the website Fiverr to get them done because Fiverr basically is this website where you can study with other people and I find it really motivating to actually get the tasks I want to do done. And if you don't know already, I have a revision room in Fiverr, so if you check the link in the description below, you can join it and you might occasionally see me pop up in there if I have any sort of work to do, to be honest. I had quite a few flashcards that I needed to go over, so I did that and then I started making some flashcards on a topic that we just covered in chemistry which was uh, electronegativity and uh, stuff about intermolecular forces if you do chemistry you'll get what I mean. What I usually do is once I've completed a lesson I would first take notes on it which is what the review section is. I've got an entire video on that as well my A-level workflow so if you haven't seen that make sure you check that out if you do A-levels. And yeah so once I completed this for chemistry I then went on to biology and I started making notes on osmosis firstly and then making flashcards for them and then reviewing them but then I did the same thing with enzymes as well because I had to go over all these lessons because I just wasn't bothered to do it during the school week. I was just like, I might as well leave it for the weekend. So I got all of that done. I usually try to not let any of these review things get to the next week because then it starts to pile up. I try and get them done usually within a day or two, but right after the lesson. Uh, sometimes I can be lazy and put it off if the next lesson with that teacher is like ages away, but usually I try and get it done as early as possible. And yeah, for Saturday that was literally it. I just went over any lessons I still hadn't gone over and I made flashcards and reviewed them and that was basically it. For the rest of the day I just chilled, I just didn't do anything to be honest, uh, I just relaxed and yeah that was it to be honest. For Saturday I just kept it like that because currently it's all just meant to be nice and chill. I did most of my work during the weekdays and like after school and things and during free periods. Now on Sunday the tasks I had to do were quite different to the ones I had to do on the Saturday because on Saturday it was all just making flashcards, reviewing them, doing notes but for Sunday it was more just revising for tests because next week I have two tests back to back, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday. So I have one on chemistry and one on maths. The maths topics I still need to go over because I'm quite rusty on them but for chemistry uh, I did maths revision and chemistry revision and I decided you know what let me make it into a bit of a montage just to make it a bit more interesting to watch. So <laughs> this took way too long to make but enjoy. <laughs> I have a periodic table on my home screen because it's just so useful like I genuinely <laughs> it helps me save so much time during lessons because I can just quickly check it oh whoa what just happened there we go find the time it takes 73 lithium ion what okay so for chromium it'd be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 what why is it different okay so copper on 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 I just got a question right and free science lessons completely carry this actually makes sense now it's actually not as bad as i thought it was you know what chemistry is actually interesting i'm actually enjoying how to do these questions now i take that back chemistry makes no sense i just did another question and i checked the answer it was completely off but at this point like I'm just gonna hope that doesn't come up in the exam. I still have quite a few days to revise for this. That would mean let me try one point. Wait, six, that doesn't make six, sense. Why am I getting I'm lost? Six? What? Wait, let me try and. Guys, I've learned this pen spinning trick. I've been practicing because there's no point in doing chemistry anymore. And this just, it's really satisfying. Whoa, wait. Oh, 
After doing at least like an hour of chemistry revision, it's actually starting to make a bit more sense. I think most of the reasons I was getting questions wrong was because it's been quite a bit of time since I've done these topics that I've kind of forgotten how to do a lot of them. A lot of the lessons I missed because they were like cover lessons, our teachers kept on not turning up for so many lessons. We had to just basically teach ourselves most of the stuff. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. That's the end of my studying. I've gotten all the work I really needed to do done. So hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys got a bit of motivation from this video uh, that was my main aim to be honest and I definitely got a motivation to revise just by filming this video because I knew I had to revise in order to film it so that way I was like you know what I might as well just revise a bit more as well uh, and yeah it actually worked I'll see you again next week and yeah that's it bye for now and uh, I'm wishing everyone the best of luck in any exams they have whether it's mocks whether it's GCSEs whether it's A-levels best of luck and yeah I'll see you next week bye